Hey guys, hope you're well. So one of the things I want to show you is how to set up a flight counter. So you could basically count uh, how many f uh, flights you're having. Um, and there's, I guess there's probably a few different ways to do it, but I just wanna show you how I managed to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up and then I wanna put it and display it here um, so I could see that. So what I'm gonna do is there's three steps. So we're gonna start by going um, into our model. We're gonna go into our global variables. We're actually gonna be using the global variables to count every time we, um, we have a flight. And I'm gonna go into my first global variable, click edit. And I'm just, all I'm gonna do is gonna give it a name. So you can only enter three characters. So I'm gonna put FC in capitals for flight counter, just so I know what this is. So now this has been renamed FC. And that's literally all I'm gonna do in this section. Then I'm gonna to go to a logical switch and I'm gonna add a logical switch. So I'm gonna click add, it's gonna be L1. Now my function is going to be A equals X, okay? My um, V1 is gonna be my switch. So basically what I wanna do is every time I arm my model, so this switch here is my arming switch. So when I arm it, I want to um, have it count that I'm gonna have a flight. So I'm gonna use SA. Now my V2 is gonna be minus 100. And the reason is gonna be, um, sorry, right. the reason is gonna be minus 100 is because I want it to arm when this position is at the top. If I had that set to 100, it's going to count when the position's at the bottom. Sorry, so I, I want it, to um, count a flight when the position is at this top position here. So this is why I'm doing that as minus 100. If I wanted it to count at the bottom position, it would be just 100. So I hope that made sense. And I'm gonna use the AND switch, and my AND switch I will set to POS1. So POS1 is these switches over here. So I'm gonna set it to POS1. And that's it. I'm going to leave everything else as it is. So basically what I've said here is I want A equals X. I want to use this switch and I want the position of the switch to be at the top. This is why I've put minus 100. And I'm using another switch, switch pause uh, one, which is that switch here. And I'm going to explain to you uh, why I've selected that in a, in a second, then it all makes sense. So that's all I need to do in my logical switch. So now I've got a logical switch set up. Then I'm gonna go into my special functions and I'm gonna add another special function. Now my trigger is gonna be my logical switch. So LS for log logical switch, I only have one. That's my LS1, uh, L01. I'm then going to use a function called adjust. So that one. Um, it's automatically set up a global variable. So once I select adjust, it brings that global variable and I can, um, and it sets it automatically because I only have, well, it's defaulted to uh, global variable one, which is what I've renamed FC for flight controller, but you could select any global variable. But in this case, we want that one. So it's picked it up. Now my mode is going to be ink discrement. So I'm gonna click that. And now what I'm gonna click on here is I want it to increment by one. And then I'm gonna enable this, okay? So that's it, that's set up. The next thing to do now is to add a widget to display this data. So what I'm going to do uh, is go into here, go screen settings. Now, if you don't know how to add a widget, please watch my other video where I'll show you how to add widgets. But um, notice here that I have a layout two by three and I have it mirrored, basically a mirror. Uh, so that switch here, mirror switched on, that basically means it's gonna go the opposite way. So if I go to set up widgets, you notice that I've got two on this side and three widgets on this side. Now, the reason I've done that, originally I had four on this side and the two on this side, but you need the wider widget to be able to display the title and the value. If you have four widgets, then the widgets are not as wide and then the value doesn't show up correctly and it doesn't look good. So I've just changed my layout and instead of having four by two, I've got it three by two. So I'm gonna click on here 
and I'm gonna to go to a widget called Value Pro. Now this widget is not standard. So again, if you wanna download this widget, go to my um, other video that shows you how to create widgets and that will, that there'll be a link in that video basically, so you could follow that. So anyway, we go to our Value Pro. Now the switch that I wanna display the value for is my global variable switch. So that's the one we called FC. Now I'm gonna give it a label of flight count. Now you can't put any more letters so it just fits flight count. And that's all we're gonna do, okay? So now I've got a widget here called flight count and I've got zero at the moment. So as you can see, it looks, looks quite nice there. Uh, and basically every time, and I'm gonna explain how this works, every time we switch or put this uh, switch to the top position, we should get a count. But if you remember, we set our logical switch um, to say and position uh, one, which means we have to be in this switch for it to count. So if I go out, okay, and I try and flick, see, I'm, I'm getting nothing. I've got, Nothing's happening in, in, in this part. And this is because I'm uh, selected switch number two. Now, if I click on one, see now it's counted it. Every time I disarm and I arm, it's gonna count another one and another one. So the idea here is that when you go out to fly and you're actually about to do a flight, you need to be in that, uh, that switch needs to be on. And that, that way, when you disarm and you go to arm, it's going to count that you're going to have a flight. But if you're at the field and you need to be arming and disarming for any reason, or if I'm at home and I'm working on my helicopter and I need to arm and disarm, then I put it into any of these other switches. So I could put it in two, I could put it in three, any other switch. And then what happens is it's not going to do any counting for me because um, I don't want it to count because I'm just arming and disarming, but I'm not actually flying. But once you're at the field and you want to fly, you put it in this position and then obviously that will count every time you flick this switch. So that's basically how it works. Now, if you want to at any point adjust this, you can go into back to your global variable, go to edit and go down here and you can actually adjust this. So I can adjust this back to, to zero, okay and you can start again. So if any mistakes happen, you can adjust the numbers up and down. And again, if you clicked on here because you are you don't want anything to count, then that's not going to do anything. Once you're in position one, then obviously that's gonna start counting for you every time that switch is on. So guys, hope that makes sense. Um, that's basically how I do my flight count and it works well for me. So uh, hopefully you've learned something and um, yeah, hopefully that will work for you as well. So thanks for watching guys and have a good day.